Explore. Lee Hart is on a quest to seek the truth behind the world's greatest mysteries. A journey that will take his team to the most challenging, remote, and dangerous environments on the planet. He will dig deeper for answers than anybody has dared dig before. Mysterious creatures, are they real, or did they exist only within the realms of myth and legend? Using state-of-the-art technology, Hart demands answers and confronts the so-called experts. Mysteries of time and space, they will investigate the strange disappearances of Bermuda and lift the lid on extraterrestrial life. What really crashed in the desert near Roswell in 1947? And on a quest for lost treasure, he must decipher codes and translate ancient documents before venturing deep into lost worlds, risking their lives and encountering lost tribes unseen on television for many hundreds of years. Journey to mysterious places hidden for millennia by the sands of time. Who built them? How? And why? We begin our journey with a mysterious Stonehenge. I know what I saw. Who they will prove is a fake. Quite frankly, it's not quite as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Okay, it's what I'm seven thousand years old. I don't old. have the luxury of just choosing every, every mystery willy nilly and put them on the show. We, I, we I, had a, a coach though from Australia in yesterday. We couldn't get him out of here. Yeah, like I said, we I've been working here for I don't, fifteen I, years, and everybody comes here. They're, they're, they're over the moon. I don't have it, a budget know? to research everything. I do. These these rocks come from two hundred fifty miles away. It might be okay. Dragged up. It might be okay, okay to have a wedding here or something, but but I'm already married. I don't need that. I don't need that crap. You know? They were dragged over from Wales, you know, by by people with ropes. It's so historic. You know? Yeah, well, I think you got to grow up. Just grow up, okay? Look at it. Grow up. You get a chance to zip build it, like this. Zip it. We're just unimpressed, okay? The only mystery here is the fact that they've got building consent to build the damn thing, okay? If it was so damn good, they would have finished it, wouldn't they? Why don't they put that up there? I think you're wrong. Okay, AJ, start the car. I think you're wrong, man. Oh, yeah. Bloody Kiwis. It's not an ideal start for the mysterious planet team, but they must travel many miles to the other side of the world, where a far more challenging mystery awaits their expertise. Does a large man-like beast really exist hidden deep in the American wilderness? To some, he is known as Skunk Ape, but to early Native Americans, he is known as Sasquatch. A body has never been found, yet still thousands of people claim to have seen such a creature. I've seen a great big hairy thing down in the woods one time. I screamed, there it is, there it is! Some even believe that he has been captured on film. The mysterious planet team are about to undertake one of their most scientific investigations to date as they try to settle this legendary mystery once and for all. Bigfoot. Fact or fiction? Not only Hearts and Mysterious Planet, I attend the annual Bigfoot conference here at Salt Fort Lodge in Ohio. I talk to the so-called experts. I'll bring to the program my own expertise. And by the end of this program, we will know conclusively whether Bigfoot actually exists. Hey, uh, I do want to make a couple of announcements here real quick, and then we're going to get to the auction. I want to mention the fact that joining us from the country of New Zealand is a gentleman by the name of Lee Hart and the crew from Mysterious Planet. He would like to say a couple of words to you, I believe. Thank you, Don. 
I've got to say it's an honour being here at the annual Bigfoot Conference slash Expo and being a part of all that and meeting all you fine people, so many renowned people and respected experts as there are here today. The Bigfoot Conference, what's it all about? Well, originally in 1989 when I started holding conferences, the main reason was to get researchers from Ohio and surrounding states assembled so that we could compare notes, so to speak. Okay. Compare the different heights and the sizes, the colors of the creatures that were being seen. Just some background on me. We've just found him from Stonehenge doing some work there, albeit briefly. I've always had a fascination with Bigfoot um, or large upright walking hominids. As many of you may well know, we have what we call the Waitakere Yeti. The ancient Maori people used to call it Nawa Wakatekafi which loosely translates to large, hairy, coffee-coloured man. Um, um, this Bigfoot conference differs from many others as it includes getting out in the field to visit the location of a number of sightings. Something from behind this bush rose up, and I, I yelled at, what the F is that? I don't know if it was a Bigfoot or not. I can't say what I saw rose up. People all over the world have their own unique version of the Bigfoot or the Sasquatch. In Australia, he is known as the Yowie. To the Himalayan Sherpa, the Yeti. And to a small Venezuelan tribe of pygmy women, he is known simply as Big Cock. I believe, I believe they exist. I believe they're uh, some kind of missing link. A species that we just haven't been able to yeah. identify. The Indian tribes um, they seen Sasquatches, you know, yeah. and uh, they drew pictures of them and, uh, and uh, talked about them. We haven't actually found any uh, skulls or skeletons or anything like that, but hey, um, how many people go out in the woods are looking all the time, you know? Well, we have found skulls of creatures that have been extinct for hundreds of thousands of years. We've still found skulls of them, yet we right. haven't found a skull of a Bigfoot, which is right. reputedly still alive. Bigfoot, or the Sasquatch, was known to the Native American people for many hundreds of years. But his legend, and indeed his name, entered popular culture in the 1950s. Sightings escalated and culminated in the legendary yet controversial Patterson-Gimlin footage. Shot in Bluff Creek in 1967, Bigfoot had arrived. Legendary Bigfoot researcher Al Hudson is a believer. Well, no one has been able to prove it's a fake by any means. The, the people that disclaim it are saying that it's a man in a suit um, walking past. That's what, such an impossibility. Hey, well, you see muscle movement underneath that, that uh, fur, so how can it be a suit? You can't have a suit that tight. Uh, why not, Al? Why can't you have a suit that tight? Um, <sighs> Was it a hoax? I don't know of anyone who has actually brought the suit out of storage to prove that they were in sure. the suit. Well, it so, kind of goes around in circles, doesn't it? Because yeah. asking those that perhaps faked it to produce the suit is like asking people who believe in Bigfoot to produce the body. Exactly. Um, However, if I was involved in one of the biggest hoaxes of the 20th century, yeah. I'd make sure that I knew where the suit was at. Right. <laughs> suit or no suit, Lee wants to know whether the controversial footage can be recreated. And to do this, they head to the actual location. But before they can even begin drama with the recreation costume. What's that? It's a Bigfoot suit. I specifically said Bigfoot, not Chewbacca. If I wanted Chewbacca, I would have said Chewbacca, wouldn't it's I? It's a big hairy suit. How do you know what, what the Why Yeti you, you get Yoda or, or, or Klingon or something. I didn't want a, a sci-fi How do you know what Bigfoot looks like? The recreation is put on hold until they can source an appropriate suit. Coming up. But it's only available for one night. Yeah, yeah if, you can, if you can just see things through our shoes I do apologize at the moment. That, that's... Not really ideal with the four of us in the one bed, if you know what I'm saying. And it's been a couple of days now. And then later, the investigation turns nocturnal with frightening results. 